Welcome back, it is Thursday, that means Acting Analysis Finimators, and today we're going to take a look at episode 6 of Hulu show Wu-Tang and American Saga season 1. Alrighty, this time I have only two shots, but it's a shot and a sequence. Well, let's not ramble, let's go straight to the shots so I can explain to you why I picked them and what I like about them. First up is this one where he is proposing to her. You can see he gets on his knees and I can scroll forward. He says all this and at the end the mom looks up and the boy looks at her and she goes back and he looks again. And this is why I want to show you this because of his reaction. So after all of this, you got this little eye darts, you got a little He's processing, like, oh, what is going on? What are you going to do? That's interesting. One is kneeling. Now she looks at me, what is going on? And then she realizes, all right, he is looking at me like, right, let's take this somewhere else. And he thinks it's cute. And he has that little reaction and a smile. So why am I showing you this? It's because of something like this. The shot doesn't always have to be about animating lip sync. And if you watch my channel, you, you know what I mean with this, meaning that you pick an audio piece, but it's a character reacting to the audio piece. And to me, this is an example of, in this case, it's a kid who looks at adults doing something he may or may not understand, and it could be cute to him, but maybe not. And again, you can take this and change it for your shot, whatever it is. But I like the idea of taking audio piece, or you can also eliminate the audio and just have a pantomime of two adults. They're doing something, and then the kid looks at that, and then reacts to this and that's the main focus of the shot. It's kind of like an intro with just the pantomime, whoever character is there, but the main focus is a kid or whatever character looking at something and reacting. But again, it's kind of interesting to take an audio piece and not really focus on that. It could even be audio that's off screen, but then it's tricky because if the sound is off, if someone watches your shot, then they might not quite get what the reaction is to, bit of a tricky thing. But if you do see the people talking, you see them performing the lip sync, I think it's a cool thing of actually Actually focusing on someone who is reacting. And I also like this example because it is adults and a kid. You got contrast in behavior, contrast in size, contrast in acting. It's just different. And I like the combination of all those events in that sequence. Speaking of sequence, next up is this one. This is a longer sequence and I can scrub through it so you can see as this unfolds, there is a rift between those characters and you can see it in this framing. And this is why I'm showing you this because I think it's interesting how A, they're both in a box, right? There's a separation between them and they're stuck in their own separate boxes of beliefs or thoughts or emotions, whatever it is. And this is how it starts. There's that divide and that, that confinement of those two characters. Now, as the sequence continues, they get closer and closer. So as he turns around and starts explaining what is going on, because she asks him, why didn't you return my calls? Why are we not talking anymore? And then it switches to him going, all right, well, this is what's going on. And now she is not on screen, it's just him. He's isolated, but again, it took away kind of that barrier and that gap. So he keeps talking, now you have her. Again, the barrier is kind of gone. And I like that there's a progression. So as he starts explaining, he goes, all right, all right, and then he gets closer to her. And as we have that, now as we cut to her, he is in frame. So they're a bit closer, they're still separate, but at least they're a bit closer. So, and then as he continues, she explains her side, and then she gets closer to him. And then after that happens, they're actually both on screen together. So the connection gets stronger and stronger until she decides, well, listen, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. This is my decision and triple cut there into this and now you can see they are gone from this and now they are together in one frame united now this might be really long for you in your shot on your reel but i'm showing this in terms of the idea of maybe with your framing you can have two characters and the shot could just be 10 seconds it could be a sequence whatever it is but maybe if you have your characters in a set maybe you think about that in terms of your acting and your, your body language and all your pantomime or your lip sync but maybe on top of that have an extra layer of how do i show their division and how they get together through framing changes use the set so framing devices through the set whatever you have to kind of add an extra layer to the shot. Again, not that you have to do that, but if you are in that headspace and that mindset of maybe I want to do something more with my shot and add an extra layer, this is an interesting example and you can take that, simplify it, shorten it, depending on what you want to do. But I think as a springboard, I thought this was kind of an interesting idea. Speaking of springboard, if you think that this is interesting and you want to use that as a springboard, I'm trying to make a little connection there. But anyway, if you feel like this is cool and you want to use this idea, I have workshops as always, link in the description with all the information. So if you 
you want to sign up at any time for my workshop we can work together on your shots incorporating those ideas and acting choices and framing devices and all that good stuff to make your shots even better so don't hesitate email me let me know if you have any questions about anything and again you can sign up at any time now if you're still watching of course thank you so much i appreciate your patience and if you want to subscribe so you don't miss any of my shots that would also be appreciated so hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to get all the vacations if you so desire and that's it that's it for this acting analysis clip and i will see you in my next upload